Hey guys, in the last video you told us to sharpen the knives a lot more and thanks for recommendation. Four stitches later and a few hours at the hospital and we were, I was okay, thanks. We're teaming up with iPad and Ace of Blades. I made an intro for Ace of Blades, go check him out. He's really cool, he made the bat shetty that was featured on the Zombie Go Boom, so go look at that. Build challenge, you need $20 and you just gotta go into a store and buy as much stuff as you can for the price and you've just gotta go home, build it and it's a competition to see who comes out with the best design. No prize, no nothing. Just, it's just the good old time. Just who's the winner. Yeah. You may have noticed we've changed our name to Z0 Beta. This is because we're in partnership with Z0 Alpha properly now, not just through the name. And we're gonna start promoting it, making a website, forums, everything, everything like that. You'll hear from us and him soon. So look out for that. For our challenge, we went to B&Q. The prices there are usually pretty high, but we did pretty well for what we paid. We bought two galvanised steel brackets for £2 each, a bracket with a chisel thing for £3 and an oak post for £8. This adds up to £15 which is roughly $22. Our aim was to make the steel brackets into a hammerhead with a spike and use the oak as the handle. First, Xander tried welding the brackets together, but the galvanised steel weakened the strength of the weld. We then removed the layer by burning it off in a wood fueled furnace we quickly made, using bricks that we already had. Next, Xander removed some pieces of the metal so that the handle fits into the head. He then welded the two brackets together, then put them into place. This part was harder now as the steel had hardened after being heated. We decided to fill the gap in the head using spare wood. Xander drilled holes in the face of the hammer and the wood then attached it using bolts. Wally! We're gonna get sued now. He then welded the entire head together so it's strong and stable. There were some gaps in the head, so we filled them in. After screwing in the handle and sanding, the hammer was finished. Xander later changed the way the spike was attached, but it's essentially the same. It's been hit with a giant hammer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out Ironclad Industries and Ace of Blades. <laughs>